What's up guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine. Today we're going to be filling some Osmobile head EGR sections with aluminum. Now to be completely transparent, working on old cast iron heads for performance reasons is not one of my specialties, but I've got a friend, his name is Eric, this guy here, and he's got Osmobiles and he needs them fixed. And there's been multiple machine shops that have messed, messed them up, so I told him, at least I can fix it. I don't know about making it faster. And then he starts showing me this stuff and we've gone down a wormhole. So we got, I'll show you what we got. Give me one second, let me flip the camera around. So it is, I don't know, 20 degrees outside. We are melting pistons to pour in an Osmobile head. What could possibly go wrong with something I've never done before? So, what do you think? How's this going to go? Beautiful. So, we're going to be doing a full video on filling the back of these heads with aluminum, which is an old school trick. Let's see what we can do. So here we go. So we got a Venor. What was this called? Uh, the crucible smelting crucible furnace, whatever. I think it actually works really well. He bought it on Amazon for a hundred bucks. Yeah, it was like eighty nine dollars. So I'll put a link down below if you guys want to try this. We basically just dropped um, broken two-stroke pistons and blown up heads that I cut apart just to have scrap aluminum. I talked to my buddy, um, who's an old time machinist to see, you know, what you do. And he basically told me, put it on a steel plate, clean it with a torch and pour it in and it works. So, you know, basically these stock style smog heads, the EGR goes through to the intake. So really you have a nice bowl here. Well, I want to say nice, but a bowl here and here the back of the bowl and the back of the bowl go to the EGR and this is a standard. So our goal is to pour aluminum through here, fill this up and make them all look the same. Now this is old school technology. A bunch of the old timers used to do this all the time. I've never done this being completely transparent. Um, but we tried it on another head, it worked. So now we're gonna try it on the real ones. So let's get started. So one thing I wanna to add to this, when it comes to stuff that I haven't done before, I like to be transparent about it. I've watched videos on this. I talked to one of my buddies that's helped me out with different questions over the years that's been doing this stuff forever. His name's Robert Jenks. He's a really cool dude. Um, he basically told me clean the ports with a torch, put it on a steel plate and pour it and it'll be perfect. So I am going to go with his method and cross our fingers that I don't have a huge mess to clean up. So let's try it. Now it is. Ready. ready, sir? I'm ready. Actually, it looked like it worked perfectly. Yeah, you said go more, I went more. That's melting your mat. That's all good. I'm going to try to put an extra drop. Extra drop. Okay. Open that. Your 
not surprisingly. It So these we poured extra yes. to try to be able to get the side. Mm -hmm. So that way when we go back and poured it, we can actually leave a radius in the side. Um, this is the first one I've done. So I'm just going kind of what I would do with epoxy normally, but with aluminum instead. And Eric didn't notice I was talking to the camera, not him. kind of neat though because it is grinding just like cast aluminum so the chips that are coming off are like it was cast not which I mean it's melted cast but it's kind of neat Mouthful. It's starting to look like that was really a dumb idea.
right guys so there you go so now you can see the finished product so here's the aluminum on the one side you can see it going into the bowl which we have rough ported we've rough ported both a little hard to see so in future videos you will see we are cutting these for larger valves putting larger seats in putting hardened exhaust seats and everything so these Osmobile heads will be part of a series this entire Osmobile engine we will be building on the channel so some cool neat old school tricks this is by no means something that you know I am a pro at but I've seen guys do it for years so I'm doing it with a buddy to try it out so this is the GR block off it's nice the other nice thing for anybody asking you know this is basically just a block so even if it communicated a little bit it really wouldn't matter the intake manifold that's getting run this is blocked off anyway this is just taking up that internal volume inside the head and giving a smooth area for flow i'm interested to see how well that these perform when they're done because in all honesty the theory would be that air would sit there and it would kind of create its own ramp i do know certain guys that said they've done this and it made a huge difference I've also talked to guys that I respect a lot and say they did all this work and it did absolutely nothing. So we will see which one of the two. I have a feeling it will do something. I just don't know exactly how much. I do believe doing, you know, a high-end valve job, you know, where we're doing a multi-angle valve job and setting everything up correctly, opening the bowls up nicely. I think that's going to do more to benefit it than this, but I think altogether these heads are going to perform well. If you guys like these videos you want to see more Osmobile stuff or more, more iron stuff we're going to be doing a lot more four stroke stuff on the channel so please like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys hope you have a great day